Now we're going to talk about body protection. This is a cotton shirt. It won't catch fire, but it will burn. I got long sleeves. This is going to protect my arms. The pockets have flaps. I don't want sparks going inside. I'll show you in a little while why. This is a, another cotton shirt. You can buy this at your local department store. This will work fine. I buy them at Goodwill or one of those kind of places because I can buy the same shirt for three or four dollars and you're going to burn holes in these shirts. These are the kind of holes you're going to burn. This is one of my undershirts. I like to wear thermals because I can wear a short sleeve shirt and put a thermal on it. But you will burn holes in them, no doubt. Now I'm right handed. So when I'm welding, my left arm is usually underneath my stinger. That's going to cause my left sleeve to get full of holes. When you're out on a job or you walk through a, uh, a welding shop, you're going to find all kinds of left-handed gloves burn up. Right-handed gloves don't burn as often. So you're going to find right-handed gloves all over the place. Left-handed gloves are going to get burnt. If you're left-handed, reverse it. This is my right sleeve. There's a few holes, but not many. This is typical of welding sparks just jumping off and they're going to get you. Welding sparks are going to find places you can't imagine how they could do it. This is one of my short sleeve shirts that I wear over that when I'm doing light work. Guess what? No pocket flap. I got a spark. It went into the pocket, burnt a hole. Also, I happen to have my cell phone hanging in there and I pitted it. So you want to protect yourself, you want to protect the equipment around you. Sometimes you're a little lazier than other times, so try and just be aware of things like that. In order to protect our sleeves, the industry's come up with lightweight cotton. And this has been treated with some sort of a substance that will actually make the cotton sleeve last longer. So when you put it on, you're going to protect your shirt these will wash about 30, 40 times before they'll finally just get like a regular cotton shirt. They're very lightweight, they're very inexpensive, and they're kind of nice to have around. Same people who made the sleeves also made this lightweight jacket. Relatively inexpensive, it's a lot lighter than your leathers are going to be, and they thought enough to put a pocket on the inside. So the front has no pockets, nothing to catch the uh, sparks. Now we start getting into our leathers. Now we're getting into our heavy working gear. This is a set of sleeves. You notice it's short. It only covers you from here to here and it'll cover your arms. Let me put this thing on so you can see how it works. Works just like a regular jacket, except that it's short. Now sometimes when you're working, this is fine. This will be plenty. Other times, you're going to need a little bit more protection. They make a bib. This bib attaches to the snaps and will give you a little more front protection. Won't give you any side protection, but this will cover a lot of sparks. It's a lot lighter than using the next thing I'm going to show you, which is a full leather jacket. Now, I can't tell you how heavy it is, but I can tell you that this gets heavy. And, but in hot working conditions where we've got to weld a lot of high places, we're upside down, this will protect you. So your choice is to carry a little weight and not get burnt. But at the end of the day, where this puppy might weigh five pounds now, at the end of the day, this thing's going to weigh like 30 pounds. So choose your, pro choose your items that you're going to use to weld as to the type of work that you're doing. Go to your welding supply. Check it out. This is another protection that we're going to use. This is an apron. can be worn with 
jackets with sleeves, without sleeves. Again, this is something that your job is going to tell you what you need. This thing just goes over just like a regular apron and it's got leg protection. You just strap the straps on and you're covered. These are the kind of things that you're going to use depending on the variety of work that you do. Some of these things are going to be heavy, some of these things are going to be light. Now, let me clear this stuff off and we'll take a look at some of our hand shoes. I'll explain what hand shoes are next.